All right, all right, all right. So this is episode three. We're getting to the finale. We'll go ahead and we actually see Peran get a first sale. Like this is as raw as it get. And yes, I'm gonna show you the hardships. I'm gonna show you it wasn't easy. I'm gonna show you all the mistakes, all the flaws because I want a real course. I don't wanna do something that's fake that you guys can't relate to. And you guys be confused like, why was it so much harder for me? Or why are, are my cost of purchase way too expensive? Guess what? The cost of purchase is gonna be just as expensive as you are because taking someone that is just like you from zero to getting their very first sale ever. Let's get into episode three. All right, let's go ahead. You've guys seen the creatives that we reviewed from the last video. Let's see how they look like on the Facebook page. We like to do public posts. We don't like to do shadow posts because we want, we want to make sure we save and keep all the engagement. So here are the posts live on her page. I feel actually quite concerned with how these ads are going okay. on the basis that uh, none of my ads have even got content views. So I don't know, may maybe my expectations weren't correct, but I just based this more on the, the video analysis that, that you had in place. Um, and I felt even like the people who were performing badly in the ads, they were at least getting one or two content views. And I hadn't even been able to get any of that. Okay, so, so the I'm, first thing we have to do is check if your pixel is installed correctly. On your ads okay. manager, if you have gotten any clicks. So add in the okay. clicks column. Add in all Which? clicks. Actually, do um, unique outbound clicks. I'm in the fifth one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. And cool. then try and load that up. And then yep. now let's go to all your campaigns. Um... Uh, let me just clarify, I didn't run the hand gesture with your pillow and this one, um, I ended up turning this one off because one problem I was having, and I think I know why I had this problem, is when I put an ad campaign, um, like maybe only one of the ad sets was working and the rest was just put into in review. And I, re I reckon the reason it probably wasn't working was a lot of the times when I was creating the ads, I'll be like, oh, I want to change the picture. Oh, I want to change this, like before it was published. And I think that just kind of messes up that Facebook algorithm because I notice every time I create an ad, it gets approved within five minutes. But when I change it, it takes maybe like an entire day for it to get approved again. And it and it just approved, like, it's uh, like even yes, now I create the this. Yeah, because even this space light thing, I created it on Friday, and even still, one of one of my ad sets is still. Uh, what? Where is it? Like, uh, like this? It's still in review, even though I created this on Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's um, the case. When you edit, it sort of stops it up, and it takes a much longer. Obviously, I'm not going to do it now, but I just wasn't aware of <laughs> that that stuff up. But yeah. yeah, it's a learning process. All right. So, uh, so what am I doing now? And let's scroll to the very right. So it looks like your baby pillow and bamboo vase was getting a lot of clicks, but it isn't tracking. So let's go into, say, the bamboo vase. All right, so let's dig into the ad account and see how our results have been. And basically, take a look at the results and basically show you guys how to go ahead and read the data as well as show you guys how to organize the columns and make sure all your settings are correctly. Here's the whole process. And then now let's click on to say plan worldwide. Edit. Ah. Not go back into the ad set. Yeah. Click edit. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for it to load. Conversion. All right. So let's go to your store, open up a new tab for your Shopify store in the ad oh, yeah. section. But what, what, where did you say again? Actually on the top right hand corner for all channel today, the drop down on the top right hand corner where it says today. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's turn that for this month or this week. Actually this month. Okay, in the search panel, search pixel. And okay. now let's check if that number is the same number on your tab number one. So go back to the first tab. The, the numbers are different 
Awesome, we found out the issue already. Ah, uh, okay. So cool. let's go to your ads manager, the top left hand corner. Click the drop down. And then let's go to pixels under events manager. Um, oh yeah, I ended up creating two pixels, but I did change it, which is why I'm a bit confused why there's this issue. So yeah, I got two, I got A1 and two or three. So we should only use one pixel. Yeah, I, I created that one as a mistake, but okay. I ended up changing it. So let's, which one should we use? Should we use this one that we see right now? Um, I believe I'm using A1. Yeah, let's yeah. stick to A1 for now. And you're advertising on A1, correct? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's just clarify. I presume I'm using A1. But yeah, your ads got a lot of clicks. So those products would, will figure out the cost per click and see if it's worth running again. Yeah, that's what I was, because I don't know, I just got the feeling that um, I don't think their products are bad. Obviously, I know I can't be the judge of this, but I just Your sense that I was right. Just... As always, things aren't going to be perfect. And guess what? We are not too sure if the pixel is working properly. So we go ahead and troubleshoot everything when it comes to pixel setup. So let's click yeah. on the two or three pixel. Click on that name. Click on the pixel. Yep. Wait, is this my A1 pixel or two? Maybe this is why I'm getting confused. <laughs> okay. Um. And then now click on the top right hand corner, click setup. Um, setup. Install pixel. Is this not my two or three pixel though? So I think your two, th actually on your you click that drop down that says two or three pixel. Okay, there's only one. Okay, that's fine. All right, so go to setup. Um. Yeah. Install pixel. First yeah. one, add code or particular integration. Shopify. Go next, continue, scroll down and then copy that number. And now go back to your Shopify store and then change it. Save. And then now go back to Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then you can continue. And then continue. So now when you launch your ads, we'll go back to your ad sets and then we'll make sure that the conversion is selecting the pixel with this same number, two, four, three, eight, one, three, six. So we go back uh, to your ads manager, edit any one of the ads. Just by clicking on it. Yeah. Oh, for example, the space light. Let's edit. Uh, oh. This one I had not really implemented, yeah. And let's edit any one of those. Edit the ad set, yep. And then now under conversion website, we have to make sure that that number matches the one on the store. Uh... And then now let's cross purchase. Let's remove purchase and re... Yep. Cross it out and then now scroll down. Okay, yeah, purchase. Yeah, yeah, the, that, that first one purchase. Hover over it, see if the number is, yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Now all your issues should now go away, Paran. We just fixed it. Okay, all right. Now this is good to know because I just, I almost felt like I lost faith while I was doing this because I'm thinking I'm not even getting any content link your gut feeling clicks. was right the last... your gut feeling was yeah. right now let's take a look at your those ads you had previous and we'll add in the column cost per unique outbound clicks All right, go cool. back to your ad manager stay on the campaign level 
Yeah. Edit columns. Oh. That's it. Actually, put in um, use big performance and clicks underneath carousel engagement. Performance and clicks above cross device in the middle. Performance and clicks. Performance and click. Yep. Ah, this one. Performance and clicks. Oh. Now let's move the sort of column left and right to see cost per link click. Awesome. So it looks like the bamboo vase got very cheap cost per clicks. So the bamboo vase might be worth relaunching. Okay. Um, I don't know why the fidget spinner one's not showing up because I did do this one oh, as well. So in the top right hand corner where it shows the data, change it from this month below, yep, to last month. Ah. Okay, all right, okay. I'm starting so click to get lifetime, this. So lifetime, top right hand corner underneath data presets, yeah. All right, perfect. And guess what, we found out why. It was because the date range wasn't on lifetime and it became a new month since the 1st or 2nd of November 2019 and we didn't do lifetime and as a result, um, all the data was hidden. So there was actually no problem with the pixel. So I'm just trying to think if we should relaunch these products or just keep moving forward. That's sort of what I'm questioning. What do you I feel? feel? I feel as though the baby pillow, I, I don't know if this is a good metric to measure, but I'm only just doing this because I didn't get um, clicks. But uh, I definitely felt as though the baby pillow had potential just based on how many likes it was getting and I had two shares. Very, on that's it. a very good analysis. Based on what you said, the fact that you got two shares, 52 likes, you're very right. We should relaunch it and see how it goes with the pixel now working and properly connected. Okay. So what um, I recommend you to do is don't duplicate or just turn it back on. Redo the whole campaign to trick Facebook and tell Facebook, hey, we made a mistake. We're completely redoing this. So optimize correctly. Because if you just sort of turn it back on, then yeah. Facebook is going to treat it just as badly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and just to clarify, should I launch for Wednesday e evening as opposed to Monday evening? Yeah, launch for Wednesday at 12 a.m. Okay. Um, yeah, there's one thing I definitely want to implement is I want to make sure my ad gets approved before 12 p.m. Because <laughs> it, a lot of the times my ads seem to get approved like like during the day. Um, the, yeah, which I don't the think is, that is like when you come home from work around 5 p.m. Launch an ad so that from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. it has roughly seven hours to get approved. Hmm. And another thing I was thinking is, I don't know, I just really want to make sure, is it really just the case of just I didn't have the, li the link bit sorted out or is it just the case of I have a problem with the product, the, I'm not spending enough money or I'm not targeting properly? So as um, of right now, it was a matter of the thing not linking up correctly. So Facebook couldn't show your ads to the people that were clicking to so people were adding to cart, like all your add to carts weren't tracked, and then as a result, Facebook had no idea who to show the ad to. Because uh, it wasn't getting any oh, data. Okay. Oh that that makes more because I I think now that you said that I thought, well, uh, if it wasn't working, it, sh it should still show some. Okay, all right, that makes sense now. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try and have more faith now this time if it was really just down to that. And then um, with that hypothesis, I also do encourage you know, the moving on, just sort of now you're on a good clean slate, test brand new products. And if you do have sort of money or time, then give these products that didn't have a fair shot another try. But I do encourage moving forward and testing new products now that you have a clean slate. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's a good mindset to go by. Um, I just want to clarify with 
add, should, should I just go exactly by what you said on the KPIs? Yes. Um, or, is, or is it worth considering spending more? Um, it's worth considering spending more following the strategy number two, uh, but that is a bit sort of more experience. You sort of need more of a budget. Um, you need a bit more experience, but since you're still new to Facebook, let's stick to the budget KPI. The KPI where it says if you're on a budget, follow these KPIs. Stick to those for now, and then as you get better as Facebook ads, you could sort of let your ads run for longer, and you could sort of get a feel for it. And then we also talked about the importance of sticking to the KPIs within the program. Make sure you kill if there's no cost per view content at $2.50 for example. And the KPIs are super important. And yeah, I wanted to make sure that she followed them. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. This is episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My goal is to just give you guys as much value as possible. And yeah, that is episode 3. I'm being very excited for the final episode 4 coming up tomorrow. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and announce the last video's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses and consulting course with me. The winners here. If you guys want to qualify, what to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with episode four. Thank you so much for your support. Peace.